Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. Today in this video, I'll be talking with you about the Intel latest 12th generation processor and the processor that you are seeing here is Intel Core i7-12700 and we will see unboxing of it and we also will see what comes else inside this box. So this processor actually gives us uh, best value for money if you are not going to buy a dedicated GPU or discrete GPU or if you are not intend to uh, you know overclock your system or your CPU then this processor makes or give you a best value for money for the price that you're going to spend. Uh, the reason why I'm saying it is first of all this is cheaper than K variant which is 12700K so this is cheaper because you cannot overclock it and then uh, you are not buying to buy you know Z670 motherboard which is very expensive because then only you can overclock your CPU so you can go with a B660M chipset or you can also go with slightly higher variant like H670 chipset if you are interested in those chipsets then i will provide the you know the link in the description of this video now let me give you two more reason uh, why this processor is a compelling purchase first of all this processor comes with stock cooler or uh, you know you do not need to buy a dedicated uh, radiator or a cooler um, because it is inside this box and the second reason is this CPU comes with uh, built-in graphics or integrated graphics. So uh, again, you know, you do not need to buy uh, dedicated graphics. And then this variant also deliver similar performance at stock frequency compared to 12700K, 12700KF and 12700F. So let's say uh, you are using dedicated graphics then you can consider buying not this one but the slightly cheaper variant which is 12700F okay so without ado let's unbox it and let's see what's inside this box so if you see the box here we can see i7 badging on the top and 12 generation written here and here you can also see LZA1700 which is the socket if we see on the left hand side here we can see lot of barcodes and the cache memory written here and you know lot of uh, serial number which i'm not going to talk about then on the back here we can see a made in vietnam badging here and we can see the factory seal here okay so if we see on the bottom here we can find the detail of a country of uh, origin and country of export or import return here now let's unbox this seal so let me quickly open it up okay so i guess uh, we can open it like this and oh i forgot to show you from the top it looks like this so you can actually see the processor without opening the seal now um, let me just open it up it can be open it from here now let me just so here we can see empty box so let's place it aside and here comes the booklet and then um, let me just quickly slide this processor out from this box So here we go guys, the processor looks like this and then the stock cooler which also should come with thermal paste I believe. And here we can see the thermal paste is already embedded to this stock cooler so you do not need or will have a separate thermal paste with it so let's keep it aside and here we can see the stock cooler which look like this and this is connector which going to power this cooler and let me quickly uh, show you by opening this box So 
so uh, so this is processor so it is like this and never ever try to hold or touch these golden pins because you know it it may affect the performance of the connection when we try to assemble it in motherboard and here you can see this triangular mark which kind of show or it lets you that how we're going to assemble it inside motherboard which we will be seeing in our future or upcoming video where i will make the complete cpu assembling process and will let you know how you know we can assemble our custom build so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye